Vocês estão aí que é para me vender a aba que vocês produzem aqui em PC ou aba music. Eu me encarro para o outro link, eu me mando como eu vou não. Eu vou ter minha aba music para eu não vou querer isso a Africori. Kuna kuna, ya. Nada isso também. So, ya, minha 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 aba process. Apa kuli ya wangu kuna kuna president wa aba music. Anaitwa Muhammad Moody Muhammad Salim. Kushoto wangu ni mwakilishi wa Afrikaori anaitwa Adam Tyler. Eh, yeah, na yeye pia tampa muda na ataongea mtamsikiza vizuri. Lakini wengine hapa kuna wasanii wa Haba Music ambao wanadhani wengi wengine wengi wenu sio wageni kwa kwenu. Eh, kini pia tuna Kapipo hapo kama producer Haba Music as well. Yeah. Na leo tumekuja kutambulisha rasmi msanii wetu ni pia tutaweleza kitu vingine uh, vingi ambavyo vinakuja kuanzia UKV msanii wetu mmoja tu launch yake hapa hapa White Sands ndani ya hapa kule kwangu anaenda kwa jina la Jaiba kimsha mshasikia kazi zake mbili tatu zilitoka yeah na mwakilishi um, wetu hapa kutoka Kikoli um, Adam Tyron amekuja kujimweka na sisi hapa leo kwa sababu alikuwa anataka tu aelezee kitu kidogo tu kwa ajili ya kampuni ya solar distribution nzuri tunapofanya kazi nao kwa ukaribu na kwa ajili gani wao walichagua sisi na sisi pia kwa ajili gani tulichagua wao sababu tulikuwa na couple of deals kwenye table lakini Afrikori ndio ikawa the best part ya sisi kwa nao thank you very much I'm going to speak in English because my Swahili is a little bit scratchy. <laughs> uh, I hope that's okay. Um, thank you for having us. I mean, first of all, um, much appreciated for the invite. And, uh, you know, we've been working with Abba in his production side of things for not the longest time, you know, yeah, nine months, something nine like that, you know, but we've been building. Um, I think it's clear that he is, especially being here, seeing it day to day, a godfather of the scene. And he is incredibly generous in the way that he operates and I think it, it's a completely the natural trajectory for him to start a record label to bring through artists like Jaiba who we're here for today, Baita mm -hmm. Motra mm -hmm. um, and everybody else. Um, there seems to be uh, an incredible amount of talent here and I think it's all, I mean I've been working in Tanzania and we as a company for like the last six years. This is actually my first trip, it's embarrassing to say. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, um, we, we have been working for a long time in the region and I think now is really the time for, for Pan-African stars to rise very quickly. Um, it's definitely, uh, there's a wealth of talent here in Tanzania. I mean, there's a lot of people that I have met and encountered just from being here that I hadn't heard of. Again, it's so important to be on the ground and see. But the ears and the eyes of, of these guys is, um, is really important for us as a company to partner with. So, um, yeah, I mean, as we, we really take time and we're very selective about who we work with these days. Um, unfortunately, we can't, can't take on everybody, but in terms of this record label, there is an incredible amount of talent that we see and potential. And um, it's super important for us to kind of prop up the community, the scene, parts of East Africa, um, and for us to take this music global. You know, that's really the, the mission of this company. Is, is and us as individuals, you know, um, we're fans first and foremost, and we just want to see these these sounds reaching more audiences, you know, expressing the, the identities and culture of, of African people, East African people, wherever. Working with ABBA we, for the last maybe four years, and in the last four years, I've seen ABBA music um, start up from scratch uh, to to being what it is today. Uh, ABBA and his team tend to look and nurture for musicians here in Tanzania, which is very, very rare. And as Adam said, you know, um, with Afro Corey, I can understand why they're um, working in Tanzania. As Tanzanians, we have a very, very unique genre. So the Swahili genre, you cannot get it anywhere else. And so I can understand why you're moving into this um, sector. Um, Jiva, I've been waiting for this album for maybe the last two, two years. years. Two years. <laughs> right? So myself, 
I'm excited that it's finally become fruitful. Yeah. You know, um, this team here is a great team. Um, and I think, honestly, we can really, really push um, the music here uh, worldwide, as Adam has said. And that's something that's um, very, very close to my heart. I think um, our music needs to be heard worldwide and be appreciated worldwide. As you know, Swahili, you know, is the third, third, third biggest language in the world. world yeah. So, you know, let's use our music, yeah, let's push it. You know, so that's from me. Yeah. Um, the future. Yeah. Uh, kule, ni kapipo. Kapipo beats, dhani kapipo vizuri. Yeah. Um, kwanza kabisa nakumbuka kwenye press conference ya Musho uh, kuhusu album ya ya Aba nakumbuka kuna maswali ambayo alikuwa anazuka sana kwamba wajibu gani msanii wetu tumewaweka tumewaweka. Unajua ni vizuri ukiwa na matunda hata maembe ndio unapeleka soko gani? Uwezo kusema unachukua maembe, unapeleka Kenya, tusabu na maembe, wakati wa Kenya unye wa fendi maembe. Kwa hiyo, ilikuwa ni lazima, tukae, tuweze kujua, tunamanuba vipi, tusiye tu tukangia kwenye game, alafu tukangukia tuwa. Lakini baada ya kukutana na Frikori, tupanya nae kazi na kuongea nae, sabu tulikuwa nae katika probation period kama na kuzungunza nine months, ato tukaona kabisa kwamba inafaa kutokana na album ya Aba ilivyoenda yeah na ndio maana tukaona tunafaa kufanya naye kazi kwa hiyo um, weekend hii um, jumo siku ya Jumamosi EP kachiwe juma EP ya nyimbo saba ya bwana Jaiva na EP no features hakuna features kwa EP iko feature moja tu ambayo ni ni ya bwana Baita Beast na skill track list kesho asubuhi itatoka tumeamua ende solo ili mradi tuonyeshe uwezo wake sio kwamba kwa sababu alikuwa ndani hana uwezo hapana jaribu ana uwezo mkubwa sana najua jaribu ameshirikishwa katika album kama ya ya, ya, ya darasa ashaimba na watu kama kina mvua unaona tulikuwa tuna uwezo wa kuwaweka wale watu lakini tumeamua jaribu aende solo ili tuonyeshe uwezo wake ndio na bwana uh, ninja hapo nafikiri mnamjua alikuepo uh, katika ulimwengu wa singeli tumeamua kumchukua ili tuweze kupeleka singeli yake worldwide na bwana Motra pale na film namjua ni rapa ambaye watu wanampenda sana lakini kama nilivyozungumza mara ya kwanza you have to understand the game lazima ujue market muziki wako una upeleka wapi una market vipi kwa hiyo tumeona ana kipaji kikubwa lakini kuna vitu ambavyo alikuwa na lack na sisi tumeona hivyo vitu tunaweza tukamprovidea ndio maana tukamuingiza kwenye 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 album music na bwana Baita Beast pale nafikiri wote mnamjua na yeye Baita Beast atakuja na project yake very soon ikishatoka project ya 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 Jaiba itakuja project ya ya Baita Beast nafikiri kuanzia sasa hivi onwards itakuwa ni back to back kutoka Aba Music na mbele support yenu sana kama waandishi wa habari na kile naweza nikakabidhi Aba Uh, yeah mimi nita nita nitapenda kuzifikiza tu kwamba mwanzoni sisi kama wafanya muziki sisi kama uh, uh, wadau wa muziki tulikuwa hatujui namna gani tunaweza kupush muziki wetu kaenda duniani tulikuwa tunafanya kwenye muziki tu unajua kwamba tunafanya lakini the end of the day tunajua kwanza tunafaidikaje kwenye muziki na vizuri muziki utatulipa vipi lakini tunafanya vitu ambavyo tunakipenda the end of the day unakuta watu wanaishia katikati kwa sababu watu wengi hawajui wanawezaje kufaidika na muziki wao so sisi i mean uh, kupitia africori kama ambao tumeelezea ni ni watu ambao 
wana wameona wa, wa, wa sasa um, wa, wainue wa, wa support labels wa, 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 wa tia nguvu kwenye labels kubwa kama hivi na wasanii ili kuweza kuona uh, wasanii wanaenda far unajua sio tu Tanzania lakini wafanye vizuri Afrika kwa ujumla na vitu kama hivyo kama ambavyo amesema mood hapo kwamba singeli ni msikiti mzuri sana tunaona singeli ndio inaweza kuwa identity ya Afrika I mean, ya, ya Tanzania unaona vizuri lakini kwa sababu ya kutokuweza kuwa na, na nguvu ya ku, ya, ku, ya ku push mziki wetu nje tunaona inabaki tu kuwa msikiti fulani watu hapa na udharau na vitu kama hivyo lakini sisi kwa kulitambua hilo tuchukua mfalme ninja na tuta tuta, 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 tuta kazi yake kwa ukubwa kabisa kwa sasa hivi singeli tena duniani kabisa unajua kwa yeah hata mikataba yake mikataba ya watu wa singeli na kwa sababu tunaweza kuona sasa hizi kwamba kuna watu ambao wako wanafanya singeli wanaenda kuperform nje nchi za nje lakini kwa sababu ya wa, wa, elimu yao na wao ni watu wa masela masela tu watu walikuwa na take advantage wanawatumia vibaya wanaenda kwa wanafanya shows kubwa watu walipo vizuri lakini the end of the day wao wanaangalia tu kwenye kufanya show hawaangalia wanawezaje kupush huu muziki au sio bwana ukaenda kwenye ma, kwenye kwenye ma platform tofauti tofauti ya kimuziki duniani kutoka ndio okay sisi kwa kutambua hilo na, na kwa kushirikiana na Africori uh, tuta, tutafanya hiyo kazi tutahakikisha kwamba uh, singeli naenda sehemu yake ya sehemu yake natakiwa kufika duniani lakini pia wasanii wetu wengine wakati jive ambao wafanya afrobeats wafanya hip hop na watu wengine wanafika sehemu ambapo inahitajika kwa, ku, kwa kuwa na nguvu ya kampuni kubwa kama Africori yetu yeah so yeah nadhani sasa hivi kama kutakuwa kuna maswali